Hey, I'm so glad to see you today on Daily Hope. I want to share my heart a little bit with you as we journey through Matthew 2. Uh, world news right now is dominated by this really violent conflict between Israel and Gaza. I mean, Gaza is a real city. And you know what's amazing? You know, Gaza is on one side bordered by Israel and on the other side by Egypt. And then, of course, the, the other part of it there is the Mediterranean Sea. And we see so many prophecies in Scripture as we went through the Old Testament about Jerusalem and Israel. What's really fascinating to me in the Christmas story is this. When Mary and Joseph, uh, Mary gives birth, they've got baby Jesus. Herod is on a mission to kill Jesus. And we're going to see in our text today how God warns them and they flee to Egypt. You know what route they took? They go through Gaza to Egypt. And then they're going to live in Egypt. It's a foreign culture, a foreign language. They're going to live off the resources. Those three gifts the wise men gave them is what's going to uh, be their livelihood while they wait. And, and we don't know exactly the amount of time, but it's probably two or three years. At least that's what I've always thought. Maybe someone knows the exact time. But they're going to wait there until Herod actually dies. And then an angel of the Lord is going to say, now you can go back. And once again, they will journey, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, from Egypt through Gaza. Uh, they're going to go past Jerusalem all the way up to Nazareth when they return. Uh, here's our text today, uh, verse 13 of Matthew 2. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Quote, get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother. Stay there until I tell you to return, because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. Verse 14, that night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. Interesting how God aligns all this, but here's the point. We saw this a few days ago when the angel appeared to Joseph in an earlier dream to say, hey, I know Mary's pregnant, but it's from God. Marry her and name the child Jesus. Joseph obeyed. Once again, I just, I love these words. That night, Joseph left for Egypt. Uh, Joseph, an angel, appears in a dream. Herod's gonna come to kill this child. You need to flee to Egypt. Joseph doesn't roll over to Mary and say, hey, I had this dream. In the morning, we need to pack up and go. No, he jumps out of bed. He starts to pack up, and then he wakes up Mary. He says, grab the baby. God spoke to me in a dream. We're off to Egypt. And I think it's the same application that we had a few days ago when the angel spoke to Joseph in another dream. When God speaks to you, obey without delay. When God tells you to tell someone about Jesus or give a certain amount to a Bible-believing, gospel-preaching ministry or meet the need of a relative, meet the need of an orphan or a widow, when God prompts, do it. Obey without delay. I will see you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.